this video we shall discuss about a dotnet internal feature jitting which is a special compilation happening on dotnet applications so in order to explain this first we shall generally explain about application compilation in native windows applications when the source code is get compiled it is converted into native code because computers can only understand native code instructions but in the case of .NET, when the applications are compiled using a .NET language compiler like C# -sharp or VB.NET, it is not directly converted into native code, but instead to an intermediate form called MSIL or Microsoft Intermediate Language. But now we know that computer cannot understand MSIL; it has to convert into native code at some time. So this is happening during the application startup. During the application start, the CLR initiates the JIT compiler and that converts the MSIL code into the native code. So in .NET, the compilation is always a two-step process. First, the language compiler compiles the .NET source into MSIL and during the runtime, the JIT compiler com uh, converts the MSIL into native code. Now, we shall discuss few features about JIT compilation. As we just discussed, during the application startup, JIT compiles the MSIL into native code. But there is an important thing to remember. Not all MSIL code is converted to native at once. Because by doing so, will affect the application performance during startup time. For a small app, it doesn't matter. But for an app which is having a huge code base, converting the entire MSIL into native code will affect its starting. So another approach has been made that only the required part of application will be jitted or converted into native block on requirement. Let's explain this with a real time example. I have a small app which has two button events, create tiger and tiger eats meat. When I apply create tiger, the tiger constructor will be called and at that time the equivalent MSIL code of this constructor will be jitted to native code. But please note that at that time the second function will not be jitted. It will only be jitted when the user apply the tiger eats meat button or when this method is invoked. Now, we will show you this in real time using a Windows debugging session. So let's do a debugging session. First application, I have an example show jitted code and there are two buttons create tiger and tiger eats meat. Applying the first button, tiger object created. This means that its constructor has been called. So according to our theory, JIT compiler would have converted the constructed MSIL code into native code. Let's verify that. For that, I have to connect this application with the debugger. Opening a Win32 debugger. Attaching this process for live debugging. Debugger attach the application. Now the first thing I have to load SOS DLL. Because SOS DLL contain .NET debugging commands. Now our interest is we wanted to print the constructor information so that to check whether it is been jitted. For that first of all I have to get the tiger object from memory. So apply a command. This command will print all the tiger objects of type tiger from memory. I know that only one tiger object and its address has been printed. Along with the address, we also got the empty information about the address. Empty information means information about the methods. This is the operation metadata structure. So I need this particular structure now because we need to get the constructor information. In the previous discussion, we have explained a command dump empty to print the operation metadata. 
so now I am directly applying it dump empty minus MD and providing the metadata of the tiger class results printed we can see that the tiger constructor method information and eating meat interestingly the constructor is been jitted we know that why because tiger object is been created at the same time eating meat is not been jitted it is none right so to get more information let's go and print the MD structure of this constructor we have a command dump MD and provide the MD structure of the constructor let's see what it contains here it states more explicitly the is jitted property is given yes that means it is been jitted since it is jitted it has a code address this is the native code address or pointer of this particular constructor okay so now let's also print the eating meats MD we know that it is not jitted dump empty of this eating meat is jitter property is no and check that code address is invalid or infinite which is not valid right so this is not jittered now let's go to the application again and try to call this eating meat then come back and see what is happened here for that I am going to application I am going to apply each meat tiger is eating means that means this function has been called tiger eats right so now go back to the our this one debug break now let's do the same commands again I want to print the MD of the tiger class I am selecting the MD structure of eating meat, copying, applying the dump MD. Now it is jittered. We know that because this particular method is been called for the first time. And now it has a code address, valid code address. Previously, this was invalid pointer now a valid native code address is been there let's see what this contains this is the native code instruction instruction set for the eating meat we can see the tiger eats from the native code block yeah we can see tiger eats and the rabbits this is full of uh, assembly level coding but this is the representation of the MSIL or the source code of the eating meat function okay so now we have proved that when JIT compiler works it only works when the method is been first time invoked so only the required parts of the applications are jitted according to requirement now you have practically proved our theoretical concept we request our users to go through this video and then subscribe to our all YouTube channel we also have some dump dumps provided by us to, sh to do for the hands-on application thank you